Okay, here we are at the KOA at Salt Lake City. Every time we have stayed here, the site has been filthy. Yep. Uh, Walter has already picked up garbage. How much trash did you pick up? About half of a bag. It was about half full. Half full. And uh, that's about 20 cigarette butts, which didn't fill very much of it, but lots of little plastic pieces, lids from plastic bottles, and then just lots of paper and gum wrappers and it's all kinds of trash. It's just amazing that... Yeah, it's this site right here. Oh, we're right next to the trash can. Oh, we're right next to the trash, it's but still. Blue no, blue. no, no. Anyway. No. It's yeah, what it is. This, this park is always trashy. This is the last time we're staying at this park. There is another park. It's 10 miles further north. It's a much nicer park. It's a little bit more. It's further away from Ben. We'll give it a shot. But you know what? That was the first place I stayed. I didn't like the fact that they gave me a tiny space, but that was my fault. I told them I only had a so big trailer. Next time, it's trailer plus truck parking. So we're probably going to stay there the next time we're at Salt Lake. So I don't recommend the Salt Lake City KOA. It's not a very nice park and I requested a 50, 50 feet length RV site and they couldn't accommodate me. This this RV site is only about 45 feet and the 5 feet makes a big difference. So our tail is hanging out a little bit and so is the truck. The truck gets hit, I go after this KOA. Okay, I'm gonna take a nap now. Everything's live. <laughs> All good. Hi. Do you know these restaurants? Hello. Hi. I like your shirts, oh, by the yes. way. I got it from you. <laughs> That's not one of mine. I'm a Ravenclaw. What's so. that? A, that's a Harry Raven Potter shirt. Harry Potter. Oh, Harry Potter! It's like a, what? What high school is that? Okay, I'm just yeah. so thick sometimes. Harry Potter. Oh my God! Walter would fall and trip and die. Uh, that's too. That's too much for him. He would. It's too he's too not. Funny. He's not coordinated. Oh, here's the little one. Okay, this is the one I wanted. The size that I want until Walter said, I told her, okay, I'm gonna get an airstream. It's gonna be small, enough for me, and this is where I'm gonna go. And she says, well, maybe I wanna come. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> the trailer I want is only for one person because that's where you can get in and out. Might be locked. Oh, it's locked. Greg, this one's locked. Oh, wow. I've never seen this. Look at all the accessories you could buy with this. <laughs> you can buy a tent. Oh, <laughs> boy. Oh, my goodness. Look, there's a bedroom. There's a, there's a bedroom inside a bed. There's a tent in a tent. Oh. This is the one that I saw this morning, somebody was telling it. Oh, that is a tent in a tent. It's like one of those Russian dolls, right? Yeah. See, this is your bedroom and your dining room. I think they expect the dining room to be in a tent. Mm -hmm. See? Oh, look you, at that. You take these little things and you put them in there and then you put the cup there and then that's your bed. And it's and a wet bath. A, you have a <clears throat> back door so you can put everything that you're hauling in it while you're moving. <laughs> Their toilet's always wet from the shower. Yeah. I don't care for that. That's, that's what my, uh, my parents have in there. Oh, they have a wet bath? Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, look at the tiny microwave. Is your stove too burning? You know what? That is perfect size. That's what I want for a mic. Because I have a three burner and I don't use. Could you see? This is what I want for the house too. Mm. Just a two burner for that. Yeah. You typically only use. I have two a five. I have a time. five burner stove. And I have yet to understand why I have a problem. I mean, the purposes. only time I've used a I small one and a big two. one. You wanted a carnival, right? I wanted the carnival. It was actually a globe trotter, but it's this size. This size, right? No! And the. Because it's a short corner shower. Mm. And they can still put a bidet here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you got your little TV. And your dinette. And your... Yeah. And your... Uh, yeah. There's a bunch of storage down there too. See, this and is perfect for one person. Yeah. You got fewer storage spots, so you wouldn't yeah, be able well, to overload it... your truck. <laughs> so I was going to take this out, put a chair in there, and then this is where the washer and dryer would go. Mm. <laughs> not even get the common room. Just, just you. Just what I'm just for me. Twenty-seven. This is what you have, right? This is what I have. Oh, it's exactly like mine, except the flooring. I took that out. <laughs> I don't know why they put this freaking thing in here. Yeah. I hate it. I hate this flooring. <laughs> it looks great in a showroom, but when you're out camping, it really it, attracts dirt. I just. <clears throat> I had them take it out this last year. There's a restaurant. Mm -hmm. There's another restaurant. There's Hi. Yeah, but it's got germs. Everyone's touched it. Uh, you don't know how many children's touched that. Nice to meet you all. Bye. Okay. Okay. I clearly don't have spouse in car. He flew off back to Vegas from Salt Lake to Las Vegas. Far as staying here at this KOA again in Salt Lake City, no. We are not going to stay here again. This is now the second time I've stayed here. First time, the space was covered in trash, cigarette butts. And this time, 
again covered in trash and cigarette butts so the staff isn't really doing a good job cleaning the place and also the people staying here have no respect for their living environment right again it's a no as far as staying here at Salt Lake KOA